Hi everyone, Tanaka here. This video presents my exploration and ideation for the Growing Structures and Furniture project following the research I conducted and presented in my previous video submission. Thank you so much to everyone for your feedback on that. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into today's presentation. I grouped my ideas into three concepts, then explored each concept by drawing inspiration from existing structures and or furniture items, while also considering aesthetics inspired by biomimicry. During this process, I kept in mind the prescribed materials as well as manufacturability to avoid impractical possible solutions. My first concept is adaptable to places such as the space between STH and FADA or spaces outside restaurants. I drew inspiration from this mood board. My first concept is suited to assist in growing plants such as green onion, leaf lettuce, microgreens, spinach and garlic because it incorporates shallow plant beds of which the aforementioned plants tend to thrive in shallow soils. I used mock-ups to explore this concept further and to better portray my ideas. Outside the building I stay in on campus, there is a fair amount of open space. Having to work from home most times, it would be nice to be able to work outside while maintaining social distancing rules. My second concept aims to provide socially distanced outdoor workplaces or structures which incorporate trellising to assist in the growing of climbing plants. I used mock-ups to figure out and, and portray yikes, <laughs> how my ideas might turn out in real life. As I was walking back to Rez from Fado one morning, I came across the bus terminal on campus and thought to myself, wouldn't this be a great site and opportunity for growing structures? And that's how my third concept was born. Instead of metal frames constructed with the sole purpose of preventing chaos while students queue for the bus, my third concept still serves the same purpose while also incorporating trellising for grain climbing plants. I used 3D models to further explore this idea. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next phase of this project.